Haim Zansi, the whole Zotola crew is doing the most in order to ensure that the streets of South Africa are clean from all illicit and illegal activities. In Zoktola updates, a particular South African lady is being exposed for selling IDs to Nigerians and other foreigners for 50,000 rands and got caught by Mr. Tolani of the Zoktola. I'm here to give you all some insider details, so do well to watch this video right up to the end. Before I do so, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment and hit on to my post notification bell. This woman in question doesn't even look rich, not today, not tomorrow, apparently her standards are not even so assured. But then again, she believes that by selling these South African ideas to Nigerian people, she can make so much money for herself. And so many people were wondering why a South African lady would decide to destroy her own nation for just few amount of rands. She works for the government, but then again, she prefers to as well slide in to help these foreigners, especially the illegal foreigners involved in illegal activities. Nobody knows if these Nigerians threaten her, or she just loves money and corruption and decided to venture into what she actually is doing currently. You are having a job at Home Affairs and you still decided to go as far as helping illegal people to do illegal activities? It is so sad and unfortunate. She needs to be arrested and do her job as well if you ask me. They need to make an example with her because she is probably not the only one selling ID copies to foreigners. She is supposed to serve the people of South Africa and not to be involved in some corrupt activities already. South Africans are going through the worst of moments within the past years because some illegal people, foreigners, have come into their country and decided to do the worst of activities in South Africa. And this is breaking the hearts of so many South Africans because they are watching their youth depart from this world on a daily basis, getting involved in all these drug and illicit activities. Guys, literally, South Africa deserve all the best and Mr. Tolani is doing the best to ensure that South Africans should actually get the best that they deserve. I am fully glad that she got caught because we really don't know how much damage she has done now. South African women love Nigerians so much until they risk their jobs just to break the law. Tolani needs to be applauded because South Africa is at risk because of these fellow South African women who work for the government but then again decided to support all these Nigerian people and all the other countrymen who are definitely involved with illegal activities. Then again, if we definitely are supposed to ensure that Africa becomes one, like becomes one country, like the way we are seeing other continents that are becoming, you know, togetherness, loving one another, we need to be very much alert about the damages that we are definitely causing. Like how on earth will Africa actually come up as one when we keep involving into all these shitty activities? You leave your country, Nigeria, you go to South Africa, you go do shitty things. You leave probably Zimbabwe, Zambia, Ghana, you know, Morocco, Lesotho, whatsoever country, you go do shitty things in uh, South Africa. Like, what is the goal? Anyways, I don't want to be judgmental about all of these guys. You all tell me what you think about this particular lady. I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart.